I know what you're thinking. Max, what do you got against pho? I have nothing wrong with pho. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's pho ricking, delicious. But there's just so much more out there. I mean, look, just on this one little tiny street, the possibilities are endless. But don't think today's a free for all. Oh no, we got rules. Number one, has to be a soup noodle. Number two, has to be some type of rice noodle. And number three, this goes without saying, has to be delicious. Y'all, it's Max and my kind of beats. I hope you're ready for an all out noodle tour today. Let's get it started. So what we're getting is we're getting a boon mom, which is gonna be a fermented fish based broth with the noodles. And the best word you can learn in Vietnam is dok viet. Dok viet's a word that kind of just means like the special. But usually when you say it, you're gonna get every little add-in you can possibly get. Crunch, white fish, eggplant, roasted pork belly, fish cake, and you got like a fish paste stuffed in chili. Now she's about to just cover it in that fermented fish broth. Gorgeous. And they dish it up quick here. That's the beauty of soup noodles. You don't wait long at all. So it's gonna be really potent using that fermented fish paste. It's gonna be a lot of flavor. It's gonna help wake us up this morning. But you get your typical condiments, which you always get with really flavorful soup noodles here in Vietnam. You get the shredded banana blossom. And you see right here, you get the shredded morning glory or water spinach and a few other herbs and things that go along with it as well. A beautiful rice vermicelli noodle. That's pure flavor right there. You see those head juices leaking out right there? It's gonna be a delicious bite. I think something that's really unique to this as well is it actually comes with the eggplant in it, but I gotta give this broth a try. Not add anything, try it in its purity first. That's what you would expect. Whoa. Like that is how you wake up in the morning. That is pungent, that is fishy, and that is flavor packed. Absolutely delicious. I'm a doctor your noodles up type of guy, and this does not need much. Just a few chilies. I'm just gonna get a little dunk in this broth. That funky flavor packed broth with that sweet, fresh seafood. Definitely one of my top bowls of noodles you can get here in Vietnam. Now, not to mention, I'm taking on the noodle tour today with the worst possible shirt choice ever, all white. So, you gotta get ready, lean over. Mm. Nice rice vermicelli, not too mushy at all. I dig the rice vermicelli with just a, such a flavorful broth. You need that refreshingness from those noodles. Beautiful. A ton of vegetation in there. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I gotta go for this chili though, look at that. Roast it down nicely, that skin's just falling off. <laughs> and that's how you ruin a white shirt, but worth it. That's delicious. You're getting a lot of roast smokiness flavor from that pepper. It's a beautiful fish cake, soft, lots of spices coming out in the mix and that nice, sweet, subtle fish flavor. A lot of fresh seafood being used in this bowl, which is key, such a big key. Mm. Delicious first bowl of noodles, but we got more noodles to eat today, so let's keep it moving. All right, so we are back over here in District 3 now. We're in a little wet market area next to Bopan Tan Street. Bopan Tan Street is a super popular street for street food, a lot of delicious food on it. And right now we're going for one of my favorite bowls of noodles in all of Vietnam, Phan Rio. Now the fact is I actually live only a couple blocks away from the spot up here, so they know me pretty well here by now. Perfect time of the day to come in here. The market's vibrant. You got the market smells. You got the scooters honking, passing each other. Vibrant. Get that energy level up. Ah, xin chào. Ah, bon rio. Hi. Hi, bon rio. Hi, hi, hi. And 
just look at this broth right here simmering with all those tomatoes. Those tofu puffs are gonna be soaking in that broth. Blanching the vegetables over here. Getting a little bit of everything, getting the snails. A ton of good stuff in here. Look at that, runs that broth through there, drains it out. Just trying to get as much flavor into these noodles as possible. Get all that water out and have that broth soak it in. See again with the staples, that shredded morning glory, shredded banana blossom, some herbs and got a little sweet nook mom here. Everybody's nook mom is gonna be a little bit different. This is really, really sweet. Bun Rio is such a fragrant bowl of noodles. I'm this far away from that broth, but you still can just automatically smell it. Oh, I think we got our bowl right here. I'm hoping this is ours. That's not our bowl. I'm so excited right now. This lady's trying to sell me some sweets, but I'm just about to fill up on this bowl of noodles. Now, Bon Riol, what it is, is going to be a tomato and crab based broth. So you can see you got these beautiful tomatoes in here. They look a lot like a Roma tomato. They're going to be nice and juicy and fruity. And then what they do is they take the freshwater crab and pound it to make the broth base. But with the residue, what they'll actually do is they'll make a little crab cake as well, which I'm hoping I can dig out here to show you. And right here, you see they got the actual little crab cake, which they make as well. This is a very special bowl because it has a lot coming with it. It's got the snails. It's got the blood cake, it's got the little tofu puffs, the Vietnamese sausage. I mean, this bowl is just absolutely decked out. Now, there is no AC here. We are no fans because we are out on the hot street eating a hot bowl of noodles. Gotta get something to drink to cool you down. The go-to, the nook mia, which is just that fresh sugar cane juice. It's gonna pair perfectly with this bowl of noodles does not get more refreshing than the Nokmia. So first is first, they got the raw, just pounded chilies. I love to get a big scoop of this. And then what I love here is they got three main condiments and one that is just my favorite ever is the Mam Tom. So we had the fermented fish earlier. This is actually the fermented prawn paste. Look at that just vibrant purple color. I'm telling you what, after you've tried this, it's just such an appealing thing when you look at it. Get a big scoop of that. I'm going to double scoop of that. Last but not least, the pista de raisons. The lime squeeze. Try the broth out, see how we got it. We got some ham tom in there. That is a lot of ham tom. That is seafood sweetness. That is fruitiness from the tomatoes. That is absolutely delicious. Mm. Just the way they've cooked down these tomatoes, look, that skin's already come off. It's just pure sweet flavor, a little fruitiness. I'm going through this little tofu poof with it. Massive bite here. Bun reel, mam tom, chilies. Right here on the street in a nice little wet market. This is how you need to experience Vietnam. Just a sweat inducing bowl of noodles. Got them nice and spicy. Tons of mam tom. So they are funky, they're salty. You get that crab coming through. You get the street fruitiness from the tomato. Just an all around bowl of noodles. Definitely my favorite here in Vietnam. And it's time for that third and final bowl. We're going for Bang Kong Kua. Don't hold me that pronunciation. I don't think it's quite right. But what it is, it's actually going to be a crab based broth with a thick rice noodle. Now, I know that may sound similar to what we had before, but English language really doesn't do a great job of describing Vietnamese dishes. We're actually walking up a back alley right now, up on them. You see them getting a ton of orders ready to go. I'm about to walk around the front and get my bowl. Uh, xin chào, con con cua. Oh. Wow. I'm so lucky. Got a table right here on the edge, on the street where I love to be. I mean, they just opened at two. It's about 15 minutes after. It's already packed on the inside. So, hey, got the best seat in the house. The hardest part's waiting for food. Seeing everybody slurping down their noodles. Patience, patience. It's a virtue. Uh, come on. Oh, this just brings a smile to my face when it's yeah, right in front of you. Just look at this though. It's not more like a broth, it's more like a slurry. Look at that, that is just a slurry of flavor. 
gonna be perfect for those big, thick noodles in there. Just a great overall texture. Uh, come on. So there are different types of bon con, but this is the bon con kua, which is actually the crab noodles. So again, the bon con, you got the thick noodles here, which I think is gonna be a rice and tapioca mixture to make the noodles. And then you get that crab slurry of a sauce. And another identification factor is actually the addition of the quail egg. I'm gonna try it in its pure form though. Let's try the slurry of a sauce. Again, it looks like they're adding something into it to get that slurry, that slurpy, that little bit goopy texture. That just slides down it is all about the texture, almost like a really thin chicken pot pie filling. But then you get that crab sweetness, really salty, and you hit like a green onion, it kind of cuts through it all. Wow, they're so thick, so chewy. I still don't know if they have tapioca in them or not. They're not as chewy as ones I've had with tapioca before, so if they are putting some in there, it's a small amount. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the crab meat and pork meat, sauce, and then I got a little chili and milk mom combo over here. A little pour on top. Mm. I'm gonna go for the key ingredient here. The, really the thing you wanna get when you get here, you gotta get the bon quay. It's like a fried up Chinese donut. Get that in here. It's just a flavor sponge. It's gonna soak everything in. A little seven seconds in there. Pull it out. It's a beautiful thing. Where I screwed up is I got one order of those. I need about two or three more rolling this way. I'm gonna soak up all of that slurry of sauce. If they don't have these, just turn the other way and walk away. You need these. Mm -mm. You know, that's just the beauty of Vietnam. Even Saigon, just 12 million people. We only had three bowls today, but there's just so much food you can eat in this amazing city, in this fantastic country. So get in here, definitely eat your pho, eat your pho until your heart's content, but get out here, dive deep into these alleys, and try some dishes which you've never tried before in your life. I'm telling you, you will be rewarded because Vietnam truly is delicious. Noodles, noodles, noodles. As you see, Vietnam has just so many varieties of noodles. I hope you get to come here and try some of them as well. Hope y'all really enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed showing you the varieties of the noodles that Vietnam has to offer. And they have so many more here as well, so come and check them out. As always, thank you to our sponsor, Chef's Tour, for making this video possible. Make sure to check them out if you want a true local experience like we had today. Y'all, it's been Max and My Kind of Beats. Catch you in the next video.